I'm getting ready to film my top um, purple polishes and usually I like to wear the color that I'm talking about so I figured I would just do like a nailer with me while I paint my nails purple for that video. I still haven't decided what color I'm doing but that is what we're going to do. I'm first going to get these guys in shape. I just took a shower and usually right after a shower they're really like dry so I'm going to get these in a little bit better shape and then we will paint our nails. I don't know if I told you, but the polish I was wearing is uh, OPI Topless Beach. Um, I should file and do some cuticle remover, but I don't want to, so I'm just going to slather my nails and cover everything up with this cuticle oil from London Town. I really like the smell, and I love that it's got a little brush on it, so we are just going to put some of this on. Let that soak in for a little bit. This video isn't sponsored or anything, but um, London Town does send me all of these things, so these were just PR. But the cuticle oil is amazing, and I've talked about the hand serum um, a lot, and I just went ahead and threw some of that on as well, since we're just covering up the problems with moisturizer. I figured we'd go ahead and add some of that. And the color that I chose to do is OPI, um, You're Such a Budapest, so this is going to be on my... And top purples, uh, spoiler alert, but um, I haven't worn this on in a long time, but it really is one of my favorite purples. I really do like it. Um, so yeah, we're going to throw that on. And then for base and top coat, I'm just going to use my basic favorites, um, the Orly Bonder, and then this Wet n Wild Hard as Ice. It's actually almost gone, so I'm trying to get rid of this so that I can open a new bottle. And yeah, I think that that's really all that I need to tell you guys. So we're going to get into this manicure. So I think I told you guys last time I, f I filmed something, I can't remember what it is, that I'm starting to go to the gym. Um, I went three days last week and then this is Tuesday when I'm filming this. I'm not sure when it'll go up, but this is Tuesday when I'm filming this. Um, and I go, I'm trying to go Tuesday through Friday. And I went this morning, and then I came back and took a shower. Um, I have been doing, I watched Jessica Braun's, like, curly hair routine, and I loved it. And since I've been going to the gym, I wash my hair more often, and I really don't want to take the time to, like, style it or have it look a mess. So I was watching that really just to see how she, um, like, what products she used to get her hair to look cute after she washes it. So... I ended up buying um, a lot of the products from that video and I have been using them for the past couple weeks and I'm really liking it. So that's what's, my hair is drying right now with all those curly hair products in it and I think it's really cute. I really like it. It's super easy and the products are like drugstore prices so it didn't cost me like $70 to get new hair stuff. I'm gonna go in with the first little coat of this beautiful polish. This one does have like a little um, silver shimmer in there, but I've never really gotten it to come off on the nail. So I finally finished Jane the Virgin. The new season came on to Netflix this month and I binge watched it in like a day and a half. <laughs> um, it was good. I liked it. I still like Jane the Virgin. I know some people don't like the later seasons, but I still really enjoy it and um, they like ended it really well. They actually put endings for the characters and I was definitely a uh, team ref so I was really happy about that. Sorry if my lighting's a little weird. It's been kind of cloudy the past couple days. I'm working on getting different lights for my light box. Um, I thought I was going to have to buy a whole new light box, but I think if I can just get some new lights and bulbs, it'll be okay. Um, I would like to start taking all of my pictures in the light box so that they're uniform, um, but definitely before the winter I need to figure something out because the lighting is just so, really? The lighting is just so all over the place it's really hard to get consistent pictures because it'll be really nice like in the morning um 
or like the early afternoon the lighting is not terrible for the winter but I just feel like it's not consistent I'm gonna let this first coat dry a little bit because I'm worried that this could be one that's gonna have dark spots. Um, so I'm gonna let it dry fairly well and then I'll do my second coat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do three coats. Dang it, I really did not wanna do that. I was trying to hurry, get this filmed, get the purple video filmed. Here we are. I'm not sure which one of these videos is going to go up first, but I'll link the playlist for my top color categories down below in this video. And then if the top purples is on there, then go watch that video, I guess. I might actually be able to get away with two coats. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because I honestly think that I won't be wearing this polish that long. Um, I might be changing it again soon. I'm not sure what I have on my schedule to film for the rest of the week, but I feel like I won't wear this one that much. I just did my Zoya back to school order. Um, it's actually a really good deal, so if you haven't seen it or heard about it they have three different box options um i did the 12 polish box and i'm super excited to get it but i think that they're really behind on the orders um just because there's been a high demand for it i hadn't seen this before but i guess they do this every year um and if i remember it and think about it for next year i will definitely um order again because it is a really good deal. So I'm getting um, 12 polishes, their polish remover, um, some of their like naked manicure things, a base coat and a top coat, and it's only like $70. So it's a super good deal, even if all the polishes were um, like half price, still five, five times 12. <laughs> so basically, you're getting the polishes all half off and then some of their nail care products as well. So I'm actually really excited about it. I just hope that they get here soon. Okay, so there is my manicure. That's um, OPI Years of Budapest. This is a really pretty polish. I honestly don't think I'm gonna do any cleanup because like I said, I'm just gonna go straight into doing that video. And I already put on moisturizing products, so I don't need to do that either. I'm gonna let these dry and then film that next video. Um, I will put the playlist down below so you can go check out the other color categories and then if this one's on that playlist, you'll be able to see that one too. Um, what else? I think in the next Nail It With Me video, I'm going to do my Q&A answers. So um, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will finally get them answered. Probably in the next two weeks, I might post that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And this was just a quick little Nail It With Me. I'll do another Nail It With Me here soon after that Q&A too. So lots of them coming. Um, those were requested. I put on my Instagram again um, if anybody wanted to see anything for me because I'm planning my fall content and somebody said some more nail it with me's or paint with me's. So I will give you more of those and thanks for watching. Have a good day guys. Have a good week.